Health Canada sent cease and desist letters to illegal medical cannabis dispensaries across Canada Wednesday, threatening RCMP raids if the shops don't shut down immediately. After years of inaction, the threat is the first sign the federal government is now willing to intervene to close dispensaries despite some municipalities regulating the stores, or planning to. According to the letter, if the medical cannabis shops don't confirm their closure by September 21st, the RCMP will be called in for enforcement action as deemed necessary. It also informs shop owners that the sale and advertising of marijuana is illegal, and accuses them of encouraging Canadians to engage in conduct that could also expose them to criminal liability. If dispensary owners don't shut down their stores, they could be fined up to $5 million, or sentenced to two years in prison, or both, according to the letter. Despite the clear threat, it's unlikely the medical cannabis shops will go quietly. According to Jamie Shaw, spokesperson for Vancouver's BC Compassion Club Society, which has been in business for 18 years, she has no intention of heeding Health Canada's warning. Quote, if they think we're just going to close down in two weeks and cut off all our patients, they really don't understand where we're coming from. We've always been willing to risk arrest. Health Canada's threat comes just a month after Conservative Health Minister Rona Ambrose promised to create a task force to prevent dispensaries from advertising or selling cannabis. Under federal law, only licensed producers are allowed to sell the plant to patients. But with Canada in the middle of a federal election campaign, the timing of the threat is odd. Perhaps the Conservatives think the cannabis menace must be stopped before they're inevitably removed from power.